Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more Tears of the Fiend. And I just want to get one thing out of the way really quickly. Um, in case anyone hasn't seen my announcement on my channel page, some of the quote-unquote Midas Magic companions I've been finding might actually be from a mod uh, that uses the same engine called CM Partners Mod Basic. It adds about 70 NPCs all around Cyrodiil for you to find and uh, team up with. But, uh, let's look at that note I got really quickly before I go on with that. Uh, okay, the only thing written on it is the number two. It's probably a clue to the code we need. Anyway. So yeah, even though the, uh, the NPCs I've been finding will have the same, like, basic setup as the Midas Magic Companions, like the menus and everything, at least on my game, I don't know if if it's the same engine if you don't have both mods. But anyway... Yeah... Uh, CM Partners Mod Basic adds extra NPCs because there's only 11 in Midas Magic. And going around and counting all the ones I found on screen and off screen... It's more than 11, so most of them... Or rather, some of them are probably just from the partners mod. But anyway, enough of that. Let's continue going along with Tears of the Fiend. I'm looking for more notes because I need the notes in order to get in the my duplicates hidden uh, lair, I guess. Number four. I don't know if I did that part on screen or not, but basically I need a code to get inside the lair that he has. I'm sure it at least appears on the journal update in the last video if I haven't talked about it explicitly. But anyway, I don't know where these notes are. Do you need something? You, talk to me. Not about time, I want to know about my notes. Ah. I've been here for so long that I have acquired all I need to survive and so I have no reason to steal another's belongings. Yet my eyes can see all that transpires, and he knows who took him. Ruined tail, tried to hold on to some of it. Uh, that guy, the black guard, the dumber, and Sergeant uh, the heretic. Okay, well we've talked to a few of them already. So let's go find the remaining ones I haven't talked to yet. Hmm. I think I'll have to steal this one because didn't he say it would be difficult to get it from Sergeant? The Heretic. Sergeant, I don't know. Anymore. Let's just make a save in case I screw up because I don't want these people attacking me. I'm not quick saving recently because I haven't yet determined whether I want to take the dark ending of uh, the Legacy uh, quest. So I'm leaving that save open in case I decide to go back and get the better ending. Or if it doesn't matter that much, I mean, I mainly don't want to be hunted down by guards and stuff. But nobody's really been attacking me yet in the city, so I don't think Dark Legacy has done all that much. Except maybe raise my infamy while it's active. I have yet to determine whether it does anything while it's off. And I probably could just test it right now, but I'm looking for... What was it? Ruin Tail? Is that the, the last guy, I think? I don't know where he is, though. You smell no. Death. Talk to them already. It doesn't help that it's, like, always raining when I'm trying to look for something. Ah. Oh. Is this him? Good to see you. No, that's Zelios again. Darn it. Oh, where is he? Oh. Come on. Yep. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut out more footage. Because I can't find him at all. I have no clue where he's at. Like, Ruin Tail is nowhere to be found in that city. I literally looked around for about five more minutes. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over to the, the crater where the lair entrance is. Which, is it this? Yeah, it's this. Okay, on the door are a number of panels. Each panel has a number on its face. Ah, Cleon wants to do it. Similar to the geometry puzzle with Alicia. Not a real warrior press it. Alright. Um, but I have no clue what the order of the... I have a 1, 4, and a 2. Is that it? No, he wants more. Shoot. Okay, let's try 3. Because I'm missing... No, I'm missing 2 papers. Crap. Oh, great. Here we go again, everybody. <sighs> okay. Blue note says 4. See, I would really like it if they told you, like, what color... Maybe the color doesn't even matter, I don't know. Blue, orange, yellow, 4, 2, 1. But what do I do after that? Well, I could... Whoa! Freaky spaz. Alright, let's try 4, 2, 1. And then random numbers, because I can't find those other pieces of paper. Yeah! Cut it out until I get it. Okay, I made an alternate save, and when I figured it out, I re reloaded the save to show everybody. It's 42114, so I had the first three numbers correct, but since I couldn't find the other two pieces of paper, yeah. I don't know where they spawn or what, but I couldn't find them at all. And now we appear in here. And this is where I reloaded my save, so I don't know what's to come next. Oh, there's some people randomly appearing in this mod. Gee. Alright. And so you have found me at last. I knew you would come, and I knew you would eventually succeed in tracking me down. Despite the swapping of souls, we share the same spirit. Beneath the part of you is your pre-incarnation, and the part of you has been shaped by your life in Tamriel. There is still a part of me. Probably completely reading some of this wrong, but whatever. You feel the guilt of your pre-incarnation's actions. You bear the weight of his crimes, and now you have come to make your penance. Penance? This is your brief chance at redemption, an opportunity to truly separate yourself from your pre-incarnation. Possibly, yes. Whether you have a malevolent soul or a benevolent one, you seek to separate yourself from that which created you. You want to be something more. I am something more! No, okay. From here, you would take me from the abyss of the faithless and back to Tamriel. Why wouldn't that be weird? Having a second me running around. It's like that clone spell. Anyway. Or that clone glitch, rather. If someone as monstrous as the Butcher of Armandale gets a second chance, surely I should have one. There's one critical factor you fail to take into account, one pivotal piece of evidence that ultimately dictates everything. And what is that? In a world of fairy tales, everyone has an opportunity to find redemption, everyone learns a valuable lesson, and everyone lives happily ever after. Not in some of the older Disney work, but anyway, this is not a fairy tale for the amusement of children, this is for the real world. It is bloody and brutal, there will be no happy endings here. You have worked incredibly hard at great cost to yourself and your comrades to find me here, but all of it has been a wasted effort. Why? Oh, okay. Uh, next time, uh... Actually... I've got like a minute left, so let's just keep going. You carry the curse of your pre-incarnation. You cannot heal the scars you've left in the world, and the sooner you realize that, the better. For your own sake and for that of your companions. No, one such as you needs to exist beyond your pre-incarnation. You need to be something greater than him. You need to find redemption elsewhere, rectify others' uh, wrongs, or create more of them. Whichever takes your fancy. But leave the damage that he has done to some, uh, for someone else to fix. You cannot live out your life seeking to make amends for his actions. Your pre-incarnation is long dead, yet he still continues to torment me from beyond the grave, as we will soon find out. Huh? Oh, but you will, and soon. The fiends came to the abyss of the faithless seeking me because they believed I was the soul of your pre-incarnation. They are here now. Oh, they have been watching the entrance to my lair, waiting for- Oh, stupid! I should have expected something like this to happen. They have followed you here, and now they have followed you inside. They have come for me to take me to oblivion to punish me. 
You have led them here, thus you have indirectly been the cause of my fate. You thought it right to right the wrong of your pre-incarnation, but blah blah blah. And not only because of uh, the crime any I committed, but for the... Not because... Uh, <laughs> they believe I am he, and so I shall shuffer, suffer for it. You guys know you can pause if I screw it up, but whatever. Your pre-incarnation continues to torment me. Now indirectly he has taken me from this eternal hell, the abyss of the faithless. And it sent me kicking and screaming into a more terrible hell. Obli Ooh. 